Today I'm celebrating that I quit my corporate job. Okay, let's go. young woman going through what the youths may nowadays call her quarter life crisis. Well, some may call her crazy, but actually, no, you may be surprised to hear this, but believe me when I say that quite a lot of thought and planning went into this whole thing. Here, let's take a look, shall we? Batteries? When I started my corporate job back in September last year, I had just graduated university and this job was going to be my very first big girl job. Now the problem kind of was that my wardrobe wasn't exactly giving corporate baddie girl boss kind of vibes, but more like I spend most of my university days at home because of a certain pandemic. And nothing wrong with a pair of sweatpants or three, four, maybe five but I at least needed to look like I had my life together at my new job, you know. So with my little bit of money, I decided to invest in some staple pieces, perfectly suited for a corporate environment and for me to feel like the girl boss that I am. I mean, I was gonna earn grown up money anyway, right? Might as well spend it already. Ugh, if only I knew. Now, may I introduce you to one of the staple pieces that I bought, the pinnacle of them all, the ultimate classic item, the black blazer. What's more staple piece than a classic black blazer, right? Easy to style, pairs with everything. Good quality, I made sure of that. Guess how many times I've worn it in the past year? Zero. Never. I've never worn it. I did not. Not counting the one time I decided I was gonna be a TikTok influencer, but that's still in my draft, so that won't see the light of day. Hey, hey, don't show it to them. Now y'all are probably wondering, like, girl, why? Why did you never wear it to work? Easy question. Turns out my department wasn't really into the whole corporate dress code kind of thing. And I ended up wearing sweaters most of the time anyway. And also I worked from home most of the time. So I clearly had no idea what I was getting into, huh? <laughs> Combine that with a steady decrease in overall motivation and happiness over the course of time and well, here we are. Okay, hear me out. I quit my job because it made me really unhappy. And it felt like I was trying to fit myself inside a box that I was never meant to fit in anyway. Kind of like my cats do all the time, but they end up fitting in any tiny minuscule box anyway. So I guess it means I'm not a cat. <laughs> Who would have thought? It doesn't fit. So I feel like I should celebrate this moment because honestly, all jokes aside, quitting my job was actually pretty difficult and scary. I mean, it's a big decision, even though maybe from the outside, it looks like the easy thing to do, just stop if you don't like what you're doing. But to me, it felt like kind of a life-changing moment, I would say, especially because I started working for myself, for my own business, instead of moving on to some sort of safe and secure job at an established company. And I think we can all agree that the obvious choice in whatever situation it is, like the obvious thing to do, the thing that you feel very deeply that you have to do, is quite often also the most difficult choice to make. So it's the start of a new era now, and I feel like I should give it the attention that it deserves. Okay, so I'm thinking a sound of music running through the Swiss Alps, rolling through green luscious hills, feeling all free kind of moment. Of course, with some decorations and all while wearing the blazer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could roll down a hill to celebrate me quitting my safe and secure job with kind of a backup plan, but not really, while wearing the blazer that I bought specifically for this job, but never wore. A full circle moment. Now let's find a hill to roll down from.
depends how you define the word hill. Looks pretty good to me. What if my blazer gets dirty though? I mean, it was pretty expensive. I don't want to ruin it. Can I maybe have your bag? Okay, ready? Here I come! 